All right, Coach, you want to start with an opening statement? Yeah, just really happy, um, really happy to win on, uh, on the senior night. Um, you know, you, you clearly want to win every time you step on the court. Um, but uh, one, getting in on senior night for two special guys that uh, um, truly um, epitomize, uh, um, you know, St. Peter's values. And, and they got such great, um, such great character. And, um, you know, we've had some struggles throughout the course of this year, but these guys have never wavered in, uh, in their attitudes, in their effort. And, um, you know, I'm so happy to get the, the win for them. And I'm so happy Nick, you know, drilled that last shot. And uh, uh, here we go, here comes Nami, it's good, good. And, um, and at the end of the day, uh, we also want to win because, um, you also want to win just just to, 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 to continue to improve, you know, going into uh, going into the MAC tournament. So we got two in a row. Um, you know, one our, our, our first lead on the road on Friday, and then we bounced back after a poor start today and got the victory. So, uh, you know, we got two in a row, and, and we're feeling good, and we're, we're shooting the ball a lot better. And if we go up, uh, you know, we go up to Albany and, and continue to shoot the ball this way, I, I think we're going to. Uh, I think we're going to play really well and, and surprise some people. You kind of touched upon it, but how important is it to have this momentum heading into the MAC Conference tournament? Yeah. yeah, I think it's very important, you know, because as much as you want to tell your players to have confidence, you guys are good players and we're, we're a good team, you know, when you're not making shots, the, maybe the energy isn't there. You, you try not to drop your head, but it's sometimes it's just being human, you know. it's you know. So at the end of the day, I mean, we, we're, we're making shots right now and the ball's moving and, and I thought after the first 10 minutes today, um, I thought the last 30 minutes, I mean, we, we attacked, we played, uh, we played different tempos. Um, we, we, we had numbers and shot it quick when it was there and we executed when it wasn't. And our defense the last two games has been great. So we should be feeling pretty good about ourselves. Uh, Coach, can you speak on the play of uh, freshman Elijah Gonzalez, 10-10 uh, and 10 tonight? Um, and not only that, but the emotion that he brings to the game, always rallying the guys up. Yeah, he's 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 an energizer bunny man. I mean, he, he brings energy, you know. And, and the thing is, just what's remarkable about him is he brings energy uh, daily. And and to do that as a freshman, um, you know, is, is really remarkable because he, you know normally at some point they hit a wall, you know what I mean, and and, and try to try to take some practices off. So um, he plays with energy every day in practice. He brings it, and I think he got a little tired there at one point during the year, but. Uh, he was tremendous today. He really sparked us, and he, he got guys shots and scored himself, and um, he, he was really, really good today. Uh, kind of going off of that, Elijah Quinn and Cameron, three underclassmen who had double-digit efforts today. You know, what does that say about the future of this program? Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, I, I, I love our young guys, um, you know, and, and, and just I would say the same thing last year going into this year, this year going into next year. I mean, um, we have a nice foundation. We got good young guys with good uh, with good character, and um, you know we're going to continue to work and, and continue to grow. And we're certainly going to miss these two guys because um, listen, at the end of the day, when when you when you when you go through some some losses, that's when your true character comes out, right? Last year it was it was, it was great to be positive because we win a lot of games. And this year it could have been really easy for us to fold through the course of this year, but because of these two guys in particular, got, don't get me wrong, we got good character guys up and down our roster, but with these two guys showing leadership, they're both quiet uh, individuals, um, but they, they, they really, um, they really uh, by example, um, just show great character and, and fight and great spirit, you know, and um, I'm going to miss them dearly. Uh, Nick and Nami, just for both of you, um, how important is it to make sure that you guys and the whole team is ready for the next game as a MAC conference? <clears throat> like Coach Toach touched upon, uh, the, the league is wide open and just heading into the MAC tournament. Uh, we got a little momentum, so going over there, get a nice little practice in and just stay focused and realize that we're just as good as any team in this league. And we're going with that confident mindset and just playing the way we know how to play and we should be in good shape. Yeah, like Nick said, the league is wide open, um, the tournament's wide open, and it was it's just great to be able to play this well the last two games and to go into it with good momentum, and I'm really confident going into it. You both have obviously been senior leaders this whole season. How important is it to even take that a step further heading into the conference tournament when you guys have played there before, been there before for the younger guys? Um, you know, just, just having the mindset of just leaving everything you have on the court, just every time you're out there, and just with only one goal in mind, and playing for each other.
each other and just try and get a win. Awesome. All right, great. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. I got one final question.